Jimmy. I think, like, in my opinion, I feel like this should be, this is, we might look back at, at this date, January 18th or whatever as the beginning of the end of like i think sony needs to get out of the hardware business man just get out of the hardware business and make good games and put them on pc or put them on any put them make them available everywhere i think they just got to get out of the hard this is really hampering them because really all this is about is hardware sales really i mean because they make great games and i think sony i think they make the best games on the planet in my yeah. opinion i think sony that's what they do best they make the best games in the world um, they have the best studios in the world, in my opinion. Um, and they just need to keep doing that. There's money to be made in there. But th this hardware issue, this this whole console war stuff, like... Um, it might, it might it's, definitely it's, change. It might no longer yeah, be. Yeah, but, yeah. Yeah, they need to be... A streaming service role. Yeah, I see them as, you know, like at school when you're a kid, there's like that super popular person. You think everything's going good for them. They're on the varsity <laughs> team. But deep down... They're insecure. They're they don't know what to do. They're like, after after I, I graduate mm -hmm. from high school, what do I have if I'm not on the varsity football team? And I feel like that's Sony right now. They may have a similar fate to Sega, you know, just yep. only make games like you're saying, because mm -hmm. I'll agree with Sir Knight. I feel like right now they make the best games out there. They make way better games than Blizzard currently. Like they need to capitalize on their games. So if that means all their games have to come on the PC and the and the and the PlayStation at first to, to get some more money, then it is what it is. But well, I yeah. And to address Arachnid, like people would freak out. I think it's one or the other. It's either Sony gets out of the hardware business or Microsoft does. And um, Sony would in in order to that because Microsoft's killing them, dude. And so Microsoft could just be like, hey. We'll we'll let you have the hardware, but you got to put Game Pass. We'll get all the hardware business for you, but you got to put Game Pass on your console. And I don't know, man, if Sony has <laughs> Sony has no choice, crazy. dude. Right? I nah, mean, Microsoft. Bro, I see, Microsoft I see wins. PC going into um, PCs going into a console type of business. Yeah, there's always going to be PCs, PCs, and that's another thing is too. Like, the, the, there's a, there's a, there doesn't really need to be consoles anymore. But it's just you know, Microsoft wins no matter what. Sony doesn't. So like Microsoft wins no matter what what direction the future goes. Same with COD. Like let's say COD stays multiplat. Everyone's talking about Call of Duty not being multiplat, or will it be multiplat, or will it be exclusive? Yeah. Even if it does, like every sale now, every sale on a PlayStation Call of Duty copy, it all the profits. It's like 30, 70, right? It's like 70% are now going to Microsoft. So what does Microsoft care? Like Microsoft wins no matter what. Like this stupid comment here. We expect that Microsoft will abide by contract agreements and ensure that Activision games are multi-platform. So Microsoft, look, is that yeah. a shot? Like that doesn't hurt us. That that's doesn't what I'm hurt us at all. Like this is silly. Yeah, that's what I said. They're playing two different games. Microsoft doesn't care. They're like, our games have been on the PC for years, you know? So they don't care about multi plat games. Like Sony is still banking on these exclusives when I think the, the days of exclusives are... This might be the last generation of them. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, it's really so. hard, man. Just make great games and give them available to all. I think Sony is realizing that too. They're making, you know, I, I think I just heard, what was it? It was like a, a huge, it was millions, right? Of God of War copies sold. I mean, I think it's the most one yet, the most uh -huh. sells yet for Sony. I mean, Sony's got to see just how valuable like good games are. Like instead of locking them behind these walled gardens, right? Like on this I PlayStation. Yeah, like just they're valuable, man. Like good games are very, very valuable. And um I think know. the moment Sony if Sony were to ever do that, the moment that that was done, Microsoft would, would just open their gates too. So that it was just available anywhere. Like they would they would start co-mingling and stuff like that. But like I said, the moment that uh both studios or, or you know entities decide that they want to get out of the console war, that's just primo spot for people who create PCs to create many, like the smallest type of PC possible that can produce like major output, but allow you to play everything on it, you know, and they would just take over, you know, Steam Deck, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, but yeah, but um, yeah, man, so to wrap up the thoughts though, like what's your final thoughts on this stuff, Mark Raya? 
I would say it just brings up a lot of other questions. You know, where are we going in this generation? You know, what's going to come ahead? I think it's just like, you know, the beginning of the end in some regards. But me personally, I'm very happy because I don't have to spend money on a potentially shitty Blizzard game ever again. And I might be able to get WoW for free. So it's very selfish. I'm very, 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 very happy about this deal for me personally. But long term, I would say it might be the beginning of the end for Sony. What yeah, so yeah, in some ways this is sad to me. Like uh, you know, I'm a capitalist at heart, whatever, buy what you want to buy. But I do think like this this strategy is sad to me. The strategy of just going out and buying um whatever company you want to buy that's the top at the time and just gobbling them up. Like that does that does scare me. And I will say, like, thank God it wasn't Tencent. It wasn't a Chinese <laughs> conglomerate oh, um, that did this because there were other shoppers. And that even scares me more. So I'm happy it was Microsoft. I don't like the strategy. I don't think it's good for high quality games. I worry about high quality games in the future. Uh -huh. But I do think there's still value in them. And I think Sony needs to stick to making high quality games. And if your revenue takes a hit, it doesn't matter. You make good games. That will always be relevant. High, yeah, quality. high quality games will always be relevant. I don't yeah. care if the whole world's playing Call of Duty. Like high quality games, they may not make as much money as Candy Crush or as as Warzone, but they will still make a lot of money. High quality games are valuable. And so yeah. I just, I, I worry for what this could mean for the future. And I don't want an arms race. I don't want where Sony starts gobbling and Microsoft starts garbling and there's this arms race. Uh -huh. um, I don't want that. So th this is a very bittersweet because while I agree with Mark Araya, hey, it's cool. I get to play COD for free now. I get to play Diablo for free. Um, I don't know if there's going to be a WoW subscription for free, but I mean, the expansions will be probably. So, I mean, there's going to be something free for a while. That's, that's as a selfish individual, right, Mark is right. You know, hey, that's cool. But I don't like the strategy, man. And it, it scares me for the future. And I guess we'll be... This is the, probably the biggest thing that happened in gaming in the in the last decade. Um, yeah, it's definitely um, a pretty huge thing. Uh, at the end of the day, uh, for me, uh, it doesn't really matter. Um, I wasn't really playing much uh, Activision or Blizzard um, IPs. Uh, you know, it's been a while since I've been on it, so you dodged it like yeah, it's, yeah. It's it hasn't really it it doesn't bother me. And then the fact that it's you know coming to an Xbox and I have Xbox and Game Pass, you know, I'm like Mark Raya, like cool. You know, I mean, like my father in law loves to play Call of Duty, and he you know he's always trying to get me on it. And the only reason I had Cold Cold War was because he bought it for me for Christmas. So <laughs> you know, if not, I wouldn't have purchased it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So. You know, um, the only thing that I do worry, and we kind of mentioned in the in the chat or whatever before, uh, was almost like a sense of looming monopolies coming. You know what I mean? Like if you're if you're consistently purchasing every damn thing because you can, uh, it's gonna be like, uh, you know, like thirty studios under Microsoft, and Sony's gonna have like whatever, you know, like the twenty that they got or the ten that they have. And then they're going to just keep scooping up every damn thing. Next thing you know, Ubisoft be purchased by Microsoft. Fucking, you know, all of these mm -hmm. other studios that create yeah. like good games that everybody likes to enjoy. And then you'll be having to pick a side or possibly until somebody decides that they don't want to be stubborn anymore and, and gives up on, on uh, trying to make, you know, exclusives and make it, you know, for all. But, um, you know, I, I definitely like, I, I don't, I don't want to see them just, you know, eat these IPs up to just continue the same shit that they've been doing. Like revamp your stuff, like, you know, make something totally different. Give us a high quality World of Warcraft MMO on a console. You know what I mean? Do something like that. Like give us something brand new, but like, because you have the guys who really know how to work a fucking MMO, give us that on a console and change the whole game. And I hope how, how we do. Stuff. I do hope that they take one thing that's neat is that COD engine is incredible. It's very pretty. Mm -hmm. I hope they take that because Phil Spencer has said in the past that he wants his own Last of Us. Mm -hmm. He wants Microsoft to have their Last of Us too. Yeah, and and I think that engine's a great engine to do it on. No, that would be cool. Yeah. 
we'll see sure. what happens. But yeah, so I mean, you know, at the at the end of the day, you know, it's a it's definitely a big move. Um, I don't see why people uh, hit uh, Sony so hard as if they did, haven't put in work for so long. Um, you know what I mean? Taking a ten a twenty billion dollar hit, I, I guess, to go and buy more Microsoft stock or something. I don't, I don't know. It seems like you should have had both stock anyways or whatever. But well, I think that's just because people are gonna buy they're gonna buy Game Pass, so they're no longer gonna be playing COD on PlayStation, and that's right, a huge right. revenue for Sony. So I think twenty dollars is probably a fair evaluation. Twenty million, twenty billion is probably. That's a big loss, man. Call of Duty is like so much. Money. Yeah, but that's not the only. It's not. It's you know. It's not the only thing. But, but anyways, you know. Mm-hmm. Um. But you know, like I said, at the end of the day, I it doesn't bother me not one bit. You know what I mean? I'm just looking, looking forward to seeing if they will actually do something with it, or just let these IP sit and collect dust. You know, like, freaking DC with Static Shock or something like that. Like, you know, get but, get your Game Pass subs while you still can, guys. Shit's going up. I'm excited to tell you. Shit's going. Up. Yeah, <laughs> not, you're right. It right. will eventually go up. It probably will. But I mean, it's I don't know that Netflix. that new addition to Candy Crush revenue might might uh, be enough. To they're, not, they're not big enough yet. They're not big enough yet. But when it, when because right now they're like the only ones in the market that are doing a streaming service like Netflix for games. So yeah. they will get bigger, and this will be a big one. I think this is immediately you add millions of users immediately from this purchase. And once mm-hmm. they get big enough, you're right, Mark. Dude, buy your buy your little things now. Buy your little yeah. things now, man, and save them. Yeah, hopefully they don't try to raise the price up too high. But uh, yeah, so that's it. That's all we got for you guys. Uh, appreciate you all for uh, sticking with us, Arachnid. Um, what was the other? Who was the other person that was in there with us for a short period of time or whatnot? Uh, crucial. Oh, crucial. Appreciate you for stopping in. Um, and anybody else who happens to check out the video. Um, and stop and drop a comment or whatnot. We appreciate you guys. Um, And uh, yeah, we'll catch you guys next week. Deuces. Peace. See ya. I love you, mate.